Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am fully ready to film this video. Um, I did not want to really include my personal life too much on this channel. And actually, no, I kind of did, but there was just pieces that I was kind of unsure if I wanted to talk about. There was things that I kept going back and forth between whether I was going to talk about them or not. Um, and I am ready to. I have been wanting to bring some personal um, aspects of my life out to you guys because it is a really good way for me to cope and it's a really good way for me to make sure that I know that it does not happen to other people and yeah so I know a lot of you are part of my channel because you watch my deal videos and you follow me along as I show you how I save money and how I do things like that and I love each and every one of you guys for being there and for being beside me and supporting me through my journey and if you're not interested in this whatsoever that's fine um, I will let you guys know in this first video that I'm going to start making a series like this so if this is not something that you're into that's totally okay um, I don't have an upload schedule for when I want to upload a little bit more personal videos or story times. So I can't really tell you guys when to not watch my videos. But if you're just not interested, that's okay. Um, I really just want to make this video because I have been wanting to talk about this for quite some time. And I've been going back and forth between what I want to do on my channel and what my content is and you know deal videos have been something that I've been very confident in and stuff like that but I also want to give you guys some insight into my life and I want to start talking to you guys more about things that are maybe a little bit more personal maybe they're just things that you don't really talk to um, a lot of people about or um, things like that so I do want to give you guys advice on anything that I possibly can so I not only want to bring you deal videos and saving money and things like that but I also want to bring you guys some real life advice and talking to you guys and telling you guys my story and where I came from and things like that so um, yeah so today this video is going to really be about how I got to where I was and a big part of that is letting go of the abusive relationship that I was in. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to kind of just start from the beginning of the story. That when I was a little younger than I am now, I am um, still young. Um, but when I was a lot younger and when I was kind of naive, I had this relationship that I thought was really, really good. I was a very, I still kind of am a shy person, but not as much as I was before. Um, I'm okay with really getting to know different people and getting out of my bubble a lot faster than I usually did. And so before I was very quiet, um, I didn't really have a lot of friends. I I wanted to make YouTube videos, but I was never successful because of the fact that I was so shy in front of camera and things like that. So when I found somebody who wanted to spend a lot of time with me and give me, you know, attention, I really, I, I don't know if you want to say I benefited from it, but I really enjoyed it and I really... I liked it a lot. I really liked the fact that somebody was actually wanting to give me their attention or, you know, I just was really happy in the fact that I found somebody who really wanted to um, spend their time with me. And so I um, got into this relationship and everything was fine and dandy. Um, it was a middle school relationships. So, I mean, there wasn't really much to it. There wasn't really much, um, 
going on, I guess. I mean, you can have a serious relationship in middle school. Maybe not like as a sixth grader, but maybe when you're um, going into high school or, you know, it, it's possible to have serious relationships if you, that's what you're looking for. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a big joke just because you're young. Um, but a lot of the times it doesn't work out when you're younger. So I, I know people will say, oh, there's no way you can have a real relationship in middle school. Not necessarily. You can have a good relationship, but, um, Chances are you're finding yourself, you could be naive, you could be with someone who's not on the same page as you, someone who does something wrong to you. It's just, it's a variety of different things that can possibly happen because of the fact that you're young. So, um, everything was okay, um, in my opinion, everything went fine, and I was, um, happy, I felt. I was able to maybe not be a huge social social butterfly but was able to kind of meet different people through this person um and always knew that I would have at least that person to talk to because um I did suffer or I do still suffer from social anxiety and if you're not 100% familiar with social anxiety it's just kind of being hard it's kind of it you have a hard time with really um, getting to know people and things like going to the grocery store by yourself kind of make you nervous. Um, I worry a lot about if people are, I guess you want to say judging me or looking at me weird or, you know, thinking that I'm, I'm, I'm a weird person for doing whatever I'm doing, even if I'm doing something 110% normal, but that's just the way that it is. So... I found that having someone to hold on to and to kind of latch onto was very helpful for me and my anxiety. So that um, relationship, I want to say, helped me, but turned into something that I should have left a long time ago because I didn't want to leave the attachment that I had and it was very hard for me to go out on my own and I guess you want to say kind of break off or you know let go so I let things happen that shouldn't have happened um I let myself think that I was not worth being their number one priority um I let myself think that kind of feeling like your opinion does, doesn't matter um that it was okay and also the fact that I was very hidden I let that be okay and that should never be the case. Um, you should never be hidden. You should never be second. Um, there is nothing that is possibly wrong with you that has to be that somebody else should feel ashamed. Um, whether you have a condition, whether you look a certain way, whether your hair is a certain color, whatever the case may be, um, it should never come to that. And so I allowed that to happen. And I believe that, I don't think, I don't believe, actually, no, I don't believe that I did anything wrong for, um, I'm going to keep you guys close a little bit because, as you can tell, I'm in a different position because it, my back is hurting really bad today. So I'm trying to film for you guys, but also I'm very uncomfortable at the same time. So, but anyway, um, I didn't do anything wrong um but like i said i let things happen that shouldn't and along with that came the fact that i was made to feel like i ended that relationship um when really i'm sure i just that relationship ended just so that person could um be with somebody else and not feel guilty about it so um that relationship ended during the summer and we had no connection for Two years. Yeah, two years. So my eighth grade year and my freshman year, we had no connection. Um, we did see each other's faces, but we had no contact, had no way of seeing each other, well, a way of um, communicating. We just didn't talk. There was no relationship, friendship, acquaintance, nothing. There was nothing there. And so come sophomore year of high school, that person starts going to school at my same location. So obviously that makes 
your heart sink no matter what. Um, whether you want to comment and say that that was not, um, I guess you want to say that can't be my first love, that can't, that's ridiculous, that I still feel something for that person or feel awkward in the same area with that person when it was just a middle school relationship. Um, is not necessary, honestly. If that's what you want to think, that's completely fine. Everybody has their own opinion. But um, to me, that that was and always will be my first, um, the first person that I loved with everything that I have. And so it, it did make my heart sink a little bit because you break off from something and you think that everything is okay and you're starting to gain a little bit of confidence and a little bit of working on yourself you know um you find what how you like to do your makeup and how you like to dress and what makes you feel comfortable and what makes you don't feel comfortable and what friends you can meet because i did not actually go to um i'm gonna call it my home school but it's more of like I didn't go to the high school that was connected to my middle school. I was branched out to a charter school, which was really nice um, because of the fact that you got to meet a lot of people. Because if you're unfamiliar with what a um, what like the word charter means, it's basically that. Um, you don't really have to live in a certain area in order to go to that school. Like, it's kind of open to everybody and everybody's location. Sorry, guys. I keep having to move because I'm real uncomfortable. But, um, so it's open to everybody. So you can get people that don't necessarily live around the corner from you. So, um, I got to meet a lot of people my freshman year. And so I was hoping that I would be okay and I actually felt okay. I, I guess you, as okay as you can be as a freshman in, in high school. But um, so that, that did take a toll on me because just because you don't talk to that person doesn't mean you don't start to question maybe why they're here, what they think. Um, again, like I said, I had really bad anxiety. So I was always thinking about what they were thinking, if they wanted to have me in the same area and when I did have classes with that person it was even worse because it's like um do you sit near that person what happens if you're in a group project with that person it's just a lot of things go through your head and I want to point out that all of those are okay um if you currently feel that way if you have felt that way it's not a bad thing to feel some kind of maybe concern or maybe um question or anything I mean it's okay to feel something um if you don't if you're confident if you're good I mean that's great I applaud people who are in that area of your life or that's how you feel that's great that is a great feeling but some people just don't have that quite yet and that's okay um so like I said this is sophomore year and we don't have any connection however um, this person has made friends with my friends and so obviously it's bound to happen that we're bound to um, have some sort of meeting or face each other or whatever you want to call it. So um, we eventually did because we had classes together and we had this one class where it was just us two. Um, my friends weren't there. Um, she had made friends um, with the people in there, and yes, I said she, if you have not watched my video, I did come out as bisexual, so if that's an issue for you as well, I don't really care, because that's my lifestyle, so, um, it was kind of like that class that if we were to talk and didn't want anybody else to know, that was a good class, because we didn't have mutual friends really in that class, so that's where a, not any kind of romantic relationship sparked, just a um, how are you doing, um, where have we been kind of conversations, and some people might say that that's a bad move on me, but again, I was young, and I, I was happy, honestly, that I got to possibly fix what happened before, or find out an answer, because 
I really didn't get a full answer as to why that relationship ended in the first place. So um, I think what I was thinking in my head was um, that I had an opportunity for closure. And you really do need closure in order to let go of anything. And so um, a friendship started and a kind of a um, getting answers started where I was able to... Um, slowly but surely start to ask why things happened start to really tell my side of the story and how I felt and that feels good to be able to express how you felt that you know hey you hurt me I felt sad and um that what this person did to you it feels it actually is very beneficial and if you get that opportunity I say um, go for it, but also be the bigger person. Don't tell that person, you know, you're such a piece of da 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 and, and go on and on and on. You can just say, this is how you made me feel. I just want you to know how you made me feel, what you put me through. Um, even if that person doesn't care, at least it's off of your chest and you can um, have that closure. So that's what happened. And from that um, re, uh, re getting to know each other and venting kind of relationship that we had grown it grown in it grew into um a romantic relationship once again and I don't really know how to put it to words as to what um happened but basically we decided that we wanted to have a relationship again we felt like um we had cleared what happened before and we wanted to move forward and honestly I don't know if that person had good intentions from the get-go but I know that I was again I was happy because that's what I had wanted so there was good times and there was bad times there was a lot of arguing there was a lot of um just not making each other happy but of course when you really want something it's hard for you to just give it up and um there really was a lot of non i don't know how to put this um there was a lot of not a lot of times where i felt like i was not being motivated i was not being pushed to do better i was not Feeling like I had first priority, of course, because this person probably cheated on me more times than I know of. And if they watch this video, I'm sure they're going to make themselves look better and say that they never did or that they had a valid reason to, but they didn't. And no one ever has a valid reason to cheat or to lie or to hide or to... Um, be on their phone 99% of the time that they're with you it's there's no excuse for for it um there's no excuse for there's no valid reason for talking to another person um cheating there's just no excuse for it and no matter what excuse you try to tell yourself it's not going to validate their action and that is something that you should never deal with whether it's um it just happened once one little itty bitty time or it's happened multiple times you're just finding out or you're just deciding that you had enough it's never it's never okay no matter what kind of cheating it is no matter if it's um actually sleeping with somebody or just talking to somebody those actions matter um and of course, for me, the first and second time, it didn't matter to me. Actually, no, it did matter. But um, it wasn't where I left. I stayed. And even though that person hurt me to the point of breaking my actual, like, being, like, actually breaking me down inside, um, I just let it happen. So... I let that happen for quite some time. I let, even when my family figured out the, tox, the toxicity of my relationship, 
um, I still let it happen. And even when our relationship wasn't a full relationship, I still try to be number two. And there's just no point in being number two. You're, everybody is worth so much more than being number two. And I never let myself believe that. I always let myself believe that I needed to fight for attention. And so I want to make this video for the people who have already gone through it, the people who are going through it, to let you guys know that it it will get better and you can let go. Whether you let go the first time it happens, whether you let go um, four years later like I did, whenever you let go, as long as you let go and you grow, that is all that matters. Um, people are going to tell you that you are so dumb for letting it happen. I was told that I was dumb and stupid and naive multiple times. Um, because I could not physically understand, mentally understand why I had to let go and how to let go. Um, so it may take you a breaking point and I want to let you guys know that that is okay. Breaking points suck. Oh, they suck so bad. But if that happens and that is the way you learn to let this person go, it's okay. As long as you let that person go and you have learned something from it that is all that is ever going to matter um it and sometimes it just does it does take a breaking point for you to know that um it's time to let go and that's a hundred percent okay because just because your family member sees it doesn't mean it's going to be easy for you to just leave um, and I do want you to leave that relationship if that's what you're in. But at the same time, if it takes you some time, that's okay. If you're in that situation right now and you're debating on it, do it. And if it takes you two or three weeks to fully recover and feel okay, that's okay. It's okay to hurt because, you know, you don't go into a relationship thinking that you're going to be cheated on or hurt or lied to. You don't think that. I didn't think that. I I went into a relationship to grow and to marry that person. I really wanted to and have a family with that person. And I didn't get to. And it, it did hurt. And sometimes it does still hurt. And it's just not necessarily that you... Just because you hurt doesn't doesn't mean that you want that relationship back and that's the only reason why you're crying or why you feel sad. That's not it. That's not it at all. You can feel sad because no one should have to feel like their second there's their second option or um that they're not good enough to be number 1. So today um to bring some light into the story I am engaged and I have a wonderful fiance who is a male um, because that is the sex that I was attracted to and if it had been a woman then maybe we'd be talking about engaged to a woman but um, I met him and I met him during the time that I was finally letting go of this relationship um, when I was trying to when I was in my stages of trying to fully let everything go and move on kind of state um we were friends had really no intention of being romantically together but he was there and did see um anytime that you know I had a breakdown anytime that I was just kind of feeling off because I kind of felt crappy for the situation that was going on um and so he got to see a lot of that and when we finally decided that um, I wanted to be with him because we were spending so much time together and we really got to know each other's weaknesses and strengths and we didn't get to meet each other's families um, but we really knew about each other and that's what mattered to me and so when we were in a relationship 
when my breaking point with my ex finally happened. Now, I was not cheating on my current boyfriend with her. Um, I was I just had her in my life. And if you can be friends with your with your ex significant other, that's fine. Um, you you do whatever makes you truly happy. However, I it was just becoming toxic to have this person in my life because even when they were in a relationship, they still wanted my attention and wanted to confuse me and think it was funny that I was confused or left in the dark or thrown to trash. Like, it is truly disgusting if you really want to think about it that people can be that way. But anyway, my breaking point was when I was with him. Um, it was a point where I'm not going to go into whole details. If you guys really want to hear how that happened, um, you can let me know. But basically, it came to the point where I finally saw with my own feelings and my own two eyes that this person didn't care um, what they did, how many times they hurt me, how screwed up the situation was if you heard all the stuff they did. And I did cry that night, but after the hurt set in of like, why don't you care that you hurt somebody kind of left me, um, it turned into building the relationship I have now. And I took all my energy that I had been pushing towards this, this one person and pushed it towards him. And it has been the greatest thing I've ever done. Um, I don't think that you guys can tell um, from my videos because the last video that I did on this channel, I don't think I have any videos up, like public, that you can see when I was with her because I don't think I was recording videos when I was with her. But um, my social media is open besides my Twitter because my Twitter is brand new. But my Instagram and my Snapchat I've had for quite a long time. And I believe that in my pictures you can see the difference between truly being happy and faking it um, as well as um, dressing different, making myself look different, and just a lot of differences in myself. So today I am fully passionate about making saving videos and coupon videos and things of that nature, but I'm also very passionate about um, being a big sister or a little sister even to other people and hearing different people's stories and really getting to know the heart of who people are. Now I could make two channels and make um, a coupons uh, page like this where this one is and my life on another one um, uh, but I'm not going to. I think today is a day that I'm going to start to be more personal with you guys. Um, I'm going to bring you guys along my journey because couponing is a part of my life and I want my life videos and my coupon videos to be one with each other and um, I'm really happy to let you guys know that I am happy. Um, today I am wearing makeup so I, I do feel very very pretty today with makeup on. But yesterday and earlier, my last video that I did right before this, my CVS haul video, I wasn't wearing any makeup. And I'm confident in that. I feel good in makeup, but I also feel good without makeup. Um, I feel good when my hair is tied in a ponytail. I feel good when my hair is down and in its natural state with him. And I feel comfortable making my life with this man and I could not have found the confidence and found the energy to pursue him the way that I did and to build this relationship the way that I did if that abusive relationship had not happened and so I am thankful for the fact that I had that relationship and that I had that experience because of what it came out to and I do not ever want to go back and change it or fix it or leave earlier um, 
I don't want to do it any differently. I am very happy with the way that it came out. I'm very happy that I left this person. Um, this person still continues to be the person that they were when they were with me. And I, to this day, pray for the person that they're with and hopes that they do not end up